क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 विच स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट फॉर शॉर्ट की डायवर्ड ऑप्शंस ओके विल सी द ऑप्शंस लेटर फर्स्ट विल सी द कॉन्सेप्ट्स बिहाइंड शॉर्ट की डायवर्ड आफ्टर नोइंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ शॉर्ट की डायवर्ड वी कैन एलिमिनेट द ऑप्शंस एंड वी कैन पिक अप द राइट चॉइस सो लेट अस सी द ऑप्शंस बिहाइंड शॉर्ट की डायवर्ड आंसर सो द फर्स्ट मी फर्स्ट लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस व्हाट इज शॉर्ट की डायवर्ड व्हाट इज सिंबल व्हाट इज इट्स वोल्टेज ड्रॉप ऑल दोस थिंग्स लेट मी गिव अ क्विक कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड रिव्यू ऑफ शॉर्ट की डायवर्ड द अदर नेम्स ऑफ शॉर्ट की डायोड आर हॉट कैरियर डायोड हॉट इलेक्ट्रॉन डायोड बैरियर डायोड सरफेस बैरियर डायोड सो डोंट कन्फ्यूज इन द एग्जाम इफ दिस नेम्स आर यूज सो इट इज नथिंग बट कैरियर डायोड कैरियर डायोड हॉट कैरियर डायोड हॉट इट इज हॉट रिमेंबर दिस नेम हॉट हॉट मीन्स शॉर्ट की डायोड हॉट इलेक्ट्रॉन डायोड बैरियर डायोड और अदर नेम इज सरफेस बैरियर डायोड सो बैरियर डायोड ओके दिज आर द नेम्स so what is its symbol symbol is same like diode but in, instead of a straight line there is a symbol s s indicates short key now what is the difference between a pn junction diode see symbol wise you can tell it is a pn junction diode and you can call this as short key diode so symbol wise everybody will tell what is the difference this is short key diode fine now what is construction wise what is different and what made it short key and why it is different so the only difference is here we have used p type semiconductor and also we use n type semiconductor both are semiconductors and a junction is formed between them now a junction potential barrier junction you all know all those things all those concepts so junction is formed between p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor whereas in short key diode there will be a semiconductor and there will be a metal so it's a combination or it's not a true diode okay it's a com combination or interference of semiconductor with a metal okay so let us see all those points then you can easily understand more clearly you can understand this concepts so other names you understood right so the next one is is finished simply also you understood i also told it's a semiconductor made from i mean it's a diode made from a semiconductor and also a uh, uh, from semiconductor and metal okay so the third point is the forward voltage drop the forward voltage drop is about 0.15 to 0.45 volts whereas in normal pn junction diode the forward voltage drop is 0.6 to 0.7 i think you already know what is forward voltage drop it is nothing but see whenever there is a pn junction diode when you give it to a battery say this ba battery is variable suppose initially you give 0 volts then you can then the current will be zero if you give 0.2 still the current will be zero at what voltage generally 0.7 is for silicon okay so if you give 0.7 then you'll get a small current 0.2 milliampere something like that so at what voltage you'll get non zero current is known as forward voltage drop means at what voltage the circuit enables or the current flows in the circuit so the voltage drop the forward voltage lies between 0.15 to 0.45 for short key whereas for silicon 0.6 to 1.7 so short key diode will enable quickly it has faster speed so it has it will enable quickly it is more quick fast so it is uh, what do you say uh, it will enable the current will flow very fast okay so hence that's the reason the switching speeds and efficiency wise the short key diode is used and it is highly used okay so if you see the point number 4 switching speed is high and efficiency is also high for short key diode because its forward voltage drop is very low it can enable the circuit quickly then question number 5 no, sorry point number 5 so the junction the junction is formed between semiconductor and metal i already discussed this so these are the very very basic points you may get in the exam also sometimes okay so in the exams like isro and drd one bsnl jto all those kinds of simple exams small Uh, what do you say concept based exams okay so the metals used generally 
in short key diode rod molybdenum tungsten platinum chromium etc here the metal we used right it can be of this the semiconductor can be some n types i mean you can use n type semiconductor in general you can use even p type you can generally will be using n type semiconductor fine now let us see the va characteristics of short key barrier diode or short key diode simple so you can see the forward c you can see here vf forward voltage forward cut in voltage is very low for short key then for pn junction it is later means it is nearly 0.7 means it is 0.15 means at 0.15 itself it started to get the current whereas pn junction will get the current if you give voltage of 0.7 volts hence will prefer short key in case of forward voltage uh, efficiency rule okay so let us see these points whatever i explained same will be there the forward voltage drop of short key barrier is very low compared to pn junction the forward voltage drops ranges from 0.3 to 0.5 it is not accurate okay generally 0.15 to 0.5 also some people will tell the forward voltage drop of short key barrier is made up of silicon okay the material will use for the top semiconductor is silicon fine now this is one concepts so you understood the what is forward voltage drop and how it is low first short key then pn then switching speeds are little higher because it is fast and efficient and uh, symbols you have chosen you have uh, seen and also you have seen how junction is formed in short key diode now let us see the current components of short key diode generally this is very very important how the current what are the current components are there and how the current flows in short key diode short key barrier diode current conduction is through majority carriers majority carriers see in pn junction diode you might have seen the current is due to majority plus minority yes or no holes plus electrons all those things you have seen right but here the current is due to only majority carriers please try to remember very 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 important the current is due to majority carriers in short key diode which are electrons see i already told short key diode is formed by a metal and a semiconductor semiconductor used is only n type n type so n type what are the majority carriers electrons that's it so the current in short key diode is due to majority carriers majority carriers you will not see in metals right majority minority concepts are there only in semiconductor so majority carriers of n type are electrons so it's a cyclic rule see majority carriers okay majority carriers of semiconductor n type are electrons so current in short key is due to only electrons okay that is nothing but majority carriers and also there are some other uh, elements will constitute the current one is diffusion which i have seen tunneling and thermionic emission these are the three areas we can see details later so these are the three areas through which the total current will flow in the short key diode now let us see the applications applications generally at higher frequencies this is a very 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 important application and we are using till now i mean till date we are using short key diodes for this purpose now what is the application and advantage of short key diode is at higher frequencies normal pn junction diode we cannot use for rectification purpose what do you mean by rectification purpose rectification means rectifier see i'll tell you the basics rectifier is a device if you give ac as an input it gives pulsated dt or dc means it gives pulse plus dc pulse plus dc pulse plus dc or it can be complete pulse so this is called pulsated dc it's a uh, function of rectifier now when the signal input signal when the input ac signal is very high frequency you cannot see the gaps also see this is the input signal which is a very high frequency i have given normal pn junction diode this will act as a rectifier okay you might have studied in the rectifier circuits this will act as a rectifier so what it does is actually it should give output similar to this but it will not give at high frequency low frequency it will give no problem but high frequency this glitches will result extra terms because 
this normal pn junction diode is formed of semiconductor and semiconductor right pn type or np whatever so it will have depletion region correct so if there is a depletion region the depletion region will store the charge yes then due to the storage of the charge the switching time will the, uh, the time for switching increases okay it will show it need to store the charge then it need to change its behavior so when it has a depletion region it need to store the charge since it is choosing uh, storing the charge it takes certain time for it to switch because first it need to store the charge it is taking some time to store so that for that time the wave cannot uh, sit quietly it will go like this down bottom so it will do its duty then switching time closes then it will make a straight waveform so due to this extra switching time which is due to storage there is a glitch okay so actually the waveform should go something like this but due to switching what is happening is extra switching time this wave doesn't know it is going something like this then suddenly switch closes switching time closes then it becomes straight again normal action okay so the again it don't know it will that uh, diode will be busy in storing the chart then this waveform will go something like this again so there is a problem of glitch so this can be avoided in short key diode the short key diode when you give very high frequency also even if you give low or high frequency even it works perfectly for low this pn junction only low now at high frequency you cannot use this can be used at even high as well as low frequencies there is no glitches no glitches taking place why means i'll give you a reason there is no depletion region in the uh, short key diode i already told because semiconductor and metal they cannot form a depletion region only it can form between semiconductor and semiconductor then as there is no depletion region there is no facility to store the charge as there is no facility to store the charge there is no time taken by the diode to st doing all these activities so hence what happens is it will do a switching action directly directly no need no extra time is it will not waste its time in storing the charge as soon as it finish positive half negative half it will not it will not it will see that negative half will not occur immediately it will switch and it will make dc so that is the action made by the short key diode so this is a very very important application now let us come back to our question which statement is correct for short key diode options current voltage character is totally different from pn junction diode is it totally different okay let us wait the current is controlled by diffusion of minority carriers diffusion is correct but it is not minority i already told it is majority so as soon as you see this option just try to strike it off the current result from flow of minority carriers once again minority is speaking just strike it off the storage time is almost zero yes I already told the switching time is almost zero it will react quickly right so the right choice is option D then why it is not option A he is telling that current voltage characteristics is totally different than of PN junction diode no you can see here that the shape is same yes or no the shape of both the waveforms are same shape etc everything is same except the cut-in voltages right cut-in voltages right and the difference in the current values to different voltage values the shape is exactly same so it is not completely different it is almost similar you can call it as similar but not completely different so even option a is wrong so the right choice is option d so this about short key diode very basics you can answer these questions in isro in the coming exam also okay thank you